This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... Jesus is the way, the truth, the life. Dot com. Isn't that the last thing we should denounce anybody for? For offending? For, I mean... I mean, my job is to go out there and offend people. Chris Cantwell's job is to go out and offend people, he says. Although I do try to keep it somewhat limited, I know that what I do is going to offend someone. Running a camera at the state house offends about a quarter of the people that walk past me and see me recording them. That number will never go down, no matter how well I behave. We're supposed to be carving out a society in which you're allowed to offend. Like Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming off you. Do you have a problem? Why don't you guys leave? Yeah, would you guys leave? You're not welcome here. It's not it's your establishment. We'll wait till well, we're asked to leave by the bartender. <laughs> oh my god, this is so fucking funny. Again, I'm not saying that these two are not, I'm not saying they're not provocateurs, I'm not saying they shouldn't be expelled, I'm not saying they're good. Maybe they're bad. But again, you want to try to limit the number of things you denounce, the type of things you denounce, to the things that really are credibly denounceable. There is this continuing lack of precision in the use of the English language by free skaters. It's exemplified most notably by Ian because he's done a great job of making sure a lot of people can hear him. He's got a good show, but many other people do it too. Probably I do it too. I just try to reduce the amount of times that I do it and to call it out when I see it. It's also played out on our, our web forums. Uh, uh, some of them, uh, some free stater communication venues seem to be a little too quick to delete posts, to ban people. These are the small areas of virtual ground that we govern currently, some of us just individually. The extent to which we use censorship on those properties gives the world a glimpse of how well or badly we will abuse that right should we ever attain real political power. It's our job to use such powers as we have sparingly against the average people. Maybe we would be less sparing when we're using our powers against the government. But anyway, Freaking accused them of doing actual bad things such as, uh, or you know, actual wrong things uh, such as stealing and... Uh, sending uh, a pizza to the wrong house. But Freekeen's denunciation of these sort of, you know, speech-related things that weren't clearly action-related, I mean, denouncing people for being trolls, denouncing them for offending, when you denounce those things, it detracts from your denunciations of actual wrongdoing. <laughs> Let the camera denounce offensive behavior by simply recording it and showing it. When we editorialize against trolling or editorialize against, well, you offended someone, we start to sound like frigging Charlie Wrangle or Al Sharpton. We already sound enough like those guys. We don't need to sound any more like them. Anyway, sorry if I'm nitpicking here. Freaking is hitting on 90% of cylinders, but the, I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad that they got video of some of what was happening. Uh, I guess they've set up a website uh, to, to, to track these two. But again, more precision in the language, please. More precision in what you denounce. More caution in what you denounce. Don't out yourself as a PC cop. Porcupine Christians. Even if you don't want to get arrested with them, you might want to hang out with them. You see, Porkfest isn't just for libertines. 
Besides having a big tent, it is a big tent. Drop by campsites two and four to find the FSP Christians. There you can fellowship with normal people, or not normal, as the Spirit leads. Learn more at Jesus is the way, the truth, the life dot com.